He'll join us again with a 360 bullet. John, the spatial discovery landing in California tonight after stormy weather prevented a return to its Florida home base. Mission Control ordered the crew to touch down this evening at NASA's backup landing site, which is, of course, Edwards Air Force Base. Discovery's latest trip to the International Space Station spanned 14 days and more than 5 million miles. The Obama administration now open to direct talks with North Korea. The dramatic policy shift announced today meant to bring the reclusive regime back to the Six Nation talks it pulled out of in April. Those talks, of course, are aimed at ending North Korea's nuclear ambitions. Gender questions continue to plague South African runner Kasser Semenya. Australian and British newspapers reporting gender tests show the 18-year-old is actually a hermaphrodite. But a spokesman for the international governing body for athletes is urging caution here, insisting those results have not yet been examined by experts. Semenya crushed her rivals for the women's 800 meters gold medal at the World Athletics Championships in Berlin last month. And a record night for Derek Jeter. Had all the guys, the Yankees fans anyway, in the studio. Very excited. He broke the record set by Lou Gehrig for the most hits by a New York Yankee. Jeter scoring his 2,722nd hit tonight. Happened in the third inning of the Yankees' home game against Baltimore, John. This might surprise you, big Red Sox fan right here, but I tip my hat. The guy is a pro, and he plays the game to win it. Clearly, John King is a professional. Uh, I don't know about that, but <laughs> you've know, you got to tip your hat to the Yankees every now and then. All right, here we